Hey guys, welcome back to the Jen Bug Handmade Podcast. I'm Jen. I am coming to you from my home here right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. I am a mama, a wife, and a nurse, and a knitting designer and crafter. So welcome back to my podcast. It's great to see you guys again. Um, I'm excited to be bringing you some shorter videos more often. So uh, now that my kids are back in daycare, so that's exciting. But um, yeah, I'm just really happy to be talking with you guys again today. So let's talk about the knitting. Um, first off, so my new pattern will be coming out tomorrow. So that would be Thursday, April 22nd, which I think is a great day. Um, I'm all about the 22nd, was born on the May 22nd. But uh, yeah, so my new pattern is coming out tomorrow. It's called Raincoats and Recipes. Uh, the name is based off of, and I, I'm talking about this again. I know I talked about it last podcast, but I want to let you guys know it is coming out. Um, but the Raincoats and Recipes name came from, it is an episode of Gilmore Girls. So if you have not seen it, spoiler alert, um, but the show is like many moons old. So it's all good. And um, yeah, so the episode, there's an episode at the end of, I think it's at the end of season four, and it's where Luke and Lorelai finally kiss and get together, um, and she opens her her dream inn, the Dragonfly Inn, so uh, I just, that name of the episode stuck with me, and when I was designing this pattern, I saw, you know, I was, you know, thinking, and I came, came across the umbrella lace stitch, and so this pattern was born. This is uh, the design process right here. But let me show you guys the shawl again. Here she is. So here is the beautiful yarn by Gina of Skein Cocaine. And this yarn is heaven. And I know I talked about it the last time, but we, we gonna talk about it again, okay? And I'm gonna show you, I've knit it up again in another colorway, uh, or I'm almost done. But so yes, this colorway, these two colorways, right? Well, it's the same colorway, two different yarn bases. This is her Sexy Slub and her Surrey Cloud, which is a Surrey Alpaca Silk. Oh Lord, it's mm, mm, so good, y'all. It is so good. Um, this was such a dream to knit with, this yarn. And so I showed you guys this shawl the last time, but this is the pattern. Look how fun this little ah, end is here. And then this is the other end. So this shawl, you start on this end and you increase on one edge and you, you this is the flat edge at the top here. And then this, this is the end, wait, yes. Yep, and this uh, bottom is the increase edge that comes out on that side. So, no, no, wrong. This is the increase edge. This edge is the edge where you keep increasing. And this is your flat edge. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, if you can knit garter and you can knit lace stitch, you can easily knit this shawl. Um, the lace stitch, the only problem, not problem, but the only tricky part of the pattern that I had was explaining the very end of the first row of the lace stitch. So if you knit it, just pay very close attention to that. And I'm going to put, uh, I've rewritten it a few times and I've finally found the wording, the correct wording that I think that everyone will understand and not mistake. So I'm excited. So... I didn't even tell you guys the colorway name. I'm bad at podcasting today, y'all. This is Seashells, and it's gorgeous. Look at the specks of the green and the reds and pinks. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm definitely, we're going to the beach in a few weeks. So, you know I'll be wearing this baby at the beach. I'm excited. I'm excited to have a nice, it looks huge and like maybe it'd be warm. It is so just lightweight and airy and soft. And the slub yarn is so much fun to knit with. It makes the garter stitch so much fun. If you wanted to substitute a yarn in this, you could. You absolutely could uh, if you don't come across the slub fingering. you I would recommend like a, a light fingering, like a single ply. If you've got like this nice fingering weight single ply you've had in your stash and you wanna 
knit it up. I, you know, this would be a great pattern for that, but I just think the slub yarn is so fun and soft. And I'll talk about this again. The Surrey Alpaca is so, it's just so much softer than mohair. Not that mohair is not soft because it is, but mohair does give that little bit of like a, a rustic feel to it sometimes. And the, the Surrey Alpaca uh, silk it's just fantastic. I mean, it is next to skin soft, 100%. So anyways, she will come out tomorrow and I will have a coupon code. The coupon code is Dragonfly In. So uh, it'll give you a dollar off the pattern. So you guys can go and check it out on Ravelry. And I will update this video and put the link below once it's out excited so yeah so there's that and I'll, I'll put it on one more time so you guys can see how cute how cute she looks on and this is how I wear all of my triangular shawls for the most part I just I love wearing them like this so yeah you can kind of have it angled like that and one it's not much longer but this edge is just a little bit longer I love it so of course, you know, I had to get some more yarn. I had to knit it one more time. Um, I'm realizing now as I'm designing that I like to come up with the idea. And so here's kind of my design process so far into the knit and designs. I like to, you know, I think of the idea. So I, I saw, I saw that name. I'm really inspired. I like naming things. Um, and coming up with clever names. I, when I was younger, I used to just like sit and read song lyrics and just like memorize them because I thought it was like poetry. And uh, another thing, I used to be a creative writing major before I quit college the first time and then became a nurse, but you know, I'm really into words and stuff. So the name of that episode inspired me for this shawl just because I thought the name was just fun and cute and clever. And so I thought, well, I need like a, an umbrella looking stitch or something and yeah, found it. and put it all together and that's what was created. So that's kind of like, you know, I found the stitch and I knew I saw Gina's beautiful yarn at Skin Cocaine and I was like, man, that would make like a beautiful shawl um, with the, you know, the garter because other people have made, you know, mohair and, um, and wool or whatever shawls, like the birds of a feather shawl. Not that I'm a copycat because I'm not, but you know, you can, I just like the pairing of them together. I thought, you know, that those would just be so pretty and just like a nice lightweight shawl. So I got the yarn and I just started knitting it out. I decided, you know, I thought about how I wanted the shape of the shawl to be. Um, and then I tested that out in my brain and, or tested it out by knitting it up. And I just, I just went with it and you just go and yeah. And then I figured out how to add in the lace stitch. That was the hardest part because the lace stitch, you know, I had to figure out how to increase on the edge and I, f I figured that out and the pattern was born. Um, just kind of as I'm going and knitting it up, I just knit it up and I'm writing down everything I do. So that way it's very clear. So then I put it all together. I use Canva um, to write these PDFs. Canva is, and I have the, the paid version. Canva is an awesome app if you are trying to do anything like this online. And I mean, not just for like knitting design, like you can use Canva for everything. People will use it for Instagram, um, when they have like serious accounts and you can get banner art for uh, Facebook and YouTube and all kinds of stuff. So if you're trying to do anything online, I highly recommend, I mean, Canva is like the, the thing you gotta have, it is. Um, so I think it's like $100 a year, it's around $100. It's absolutely worth it for everything I've used it for. I used it when I was doing my Etsy business, so I continued that and I'm so glad I did because you can get cool graphics. I mean, it's easy to remove backgrounds from pictures and it's, it's super easy to put together um, a PDF document. Um, I mean, you know, they don't have one like, they have templates and everything, but they don't have like a knitting layout template. I took like one for a recipe or something and, which is kind of like a knitting pattern. Um, and I just, or it was like a brochure, I don't know, something. And I, I just put in my own colors and switched things around and kind of made my own template. So now when I'm designing, I will take that and I will, you know, remove the information from the old pattern and I will change the color scheme to fit this pattern. So that's fun. Anyways, y'all might not give two craps about that, but 
there's that little info for you. So anyways, that's uh, where I design the PDFs for these patterns and it's really fun. And then, yeah, so I like to knit it a second time or at least start it out because once you do, you know, the first, the, the garter and the lace, it's basically the same thing until the end. A little bit different at the end, but not much. So it's, it's not hard. But anyways, I like to knit it up a second time um, just to make sure. And then I've had a few people test knit it. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. It's been super helpful. And that helped me, like I said, with the wording of this one part of the pattern. So that is how this shawl was born. That's the story. So anyways, I got some more yarn, got some more yarn, yarn from Gina at Skin Cocaine because it's beautiful. And so when I find a dyer or a yarn that I love, I will buy the crap out of it. I just will. I, so I hope you guys don't get sick of seeing, you know, Gina's yarn and um, Skin Cocaine yarn that is and Miss Babs and, you know, the yarns that I just... I just love, so sorry. I like I like knitting with what I like knitting with, okay? Um, so yeah, I had to buy some more, so I sent some up to my mom bug, which was super awesome, because she's also knitting this for me. And I got this fun colorway, woohoo! This is pe peony, peony? I don't know how you say it. Um, I used to say peony, so, but pe peony. It's one of those words that is hard to say out loud, okay? But I, I love peonies because my Mima had them um, in her yard growing up. And then I just remember smell, always smelling them. They were so beautiful and pink and just so pretty. And I think th I think those were her favorite flowers. So they always remind me of my, my Mima. And I love her because she basically raised me. So side story there. This colorway is so pretty. Look at this. Ugh. It's this like fuchsia pink, which is, um, you know, I'm all about pink. I say it every episode. I'm going to say it again. I'm all about pink. Okay. Uh, so it's this beautiful fuchsia and it's got like these blips of purple in there that are just so pretty, but isn't this yarn just, oh, it's to die for. I wish you could, I wish you could feel it through the camera because it is, it is just so sensationally soft. I'm like addicted. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying I'm addicted. So yeah, I'm almost done with the shawl. I have uh, just the three more lace repeats at the end to do with the little rows of garter in between. So I've done all the hard part. I've been knitting on this. This is what I've been working on almost nonstop since I got it in the mail because I just love it. And now that I've written the pattern, it's a lot more f like, you know, I've I've uh, got it all fine-tuned. It's a lot more fun to knit it because, well, it's not more fun, but I can just knit it and not have to design it. So it's like a whole new different experience. So yeah, here she is. I'm so excited. She's going to be gorgeous. And I'm going to wear her at the beach too, y'all. Okay. She going to be, mm, love it. Love it. Love it. But I wanted to knit this pattern one more time in a more, you know, less very, er, I'm bad with the words, but the less variegated yarn, I guess. Um, and a more tonal, it's a solid, I guess, but it's tonal, you know. So see, there's all the different colors in this one, which makes it really fun. And I just wanted to knit it one more time so that you could really, I wanted to get some really good pictures of this and of this beautiful umbrella stitch and make sure that was really clear. So yeah, um, and the other colorway that I got from her that I sent up to my mom bug was called Earth. And oh my gosh, it was just even more beautiful in person. Let me tell you, it just had these like, you know, I, I got some video of it, so I'm gonna put that in here after this, but it was just these blips of green, or it's greenish, you know, earthy, beautiful, but then it had like these little tiny blips of pink and Oh man, it's so pretty, Gina. I'm in love. I'm in love. Yeah. So check out the Skein Cocaine yarn. If, you know, you guys can't get your hands on Gina's beautiful yarn, I uh, compiled a list of other yarn dyers who have this slub base and uh, some either the alpaca base or mohair base. So, base. so I, I'm going to put that in the suggested yarns as well. But I just think you need to get your hands on, on this because it's just, oh, it's love. I'm in love. 
So yeah, and here's what it looks like caked up. I have it, uh, the ends cut right now because I'm transitioning between garter and lace on here. Oh, so I made sure to, I planned it this time to make sure that I didn't start knitting again until, ah, I podcasted and the mall's rolling around on the floor, y'all. So here it is in the, in the little ball and the cake. And yeah, you can really see, you can really see those hints of the purple in there, I think. It is so fun. Look at that. That is very true to color. It is just gorgeous. So anywho, there's that. So that is the main thing I've been working on is just, you know, hightailing it to get this pattern out. I do still have a, a uh, day job, y'all. So um, I'm, I'm working weekends right now. We'll see, you know, that's the great thing about being a nurse is I, I can kind of change my schedule as needed. You know, we'll see. But right now I'm, I'm working basically weekends. I get one day off of the weekend every other week. So I work two days, one Saturday, Sunday, and then I'll work Sunday the next week. Anyways, been busy. So that is the main thing I've been knitting. And this is in a bag I sewed up. This is just a little, it's, it's just like the bag I just showed you guys last week, but it's pink because y'all know I love me some pink. So this is uh, Spoon Flowers. This is the Dogwood Denim, which is nice and sturdy. And I actually really love this as a bag too. Um, I did, this is the Cypress Cotton Canvas. It's just a little bit softer. So I do like this one, but y'all heard my story last time that I, or I ordered the wrong fabric. Um, and then I was trying to fight Spoon Flower. <laughs> but this is the canvas and this is the Dogwood Denim. You can't really tell the difference on camera, but... This one's a little bit more stiff, but it's actually working out really well. So I really actually have enjoyed this little, little zipper, zipper bag here. So that's what I have it in. And I added this, um, I forget what this is called, but I found it on Amazon, this sturdy like canvas handle. So I added that on there. And the inside is that fun farm print from my local fabric shop. I like to support my girl. So there is that. And let us see. Um, oh, Gina was so sweet and she keeps sending me things with my orders, which is super appreciated and I love it. But you know, uh, don't feel like obligated to send me something with every order. I really appreciate it though. This is just awesome. And I've actually been wanting to get into like, you know, embroidering and stuff. Look at this. She sent me this embroidery kit. It's like a little pendant, which is perfect because I've always like, I've been thinking about getting into this and wanting to do it, but it's like overwhelming. So a tiny little pendant would be just perfect. So that's the, the wood pendant that you, I guess you put it on. I don't know how this works. I guess it comes apart. Oh yeah. It looks like the little piece come, it comes off of there and you can somehow get it set in there. I don't want to take it out of the plastic cause I don't want to mess it up, but so there's that, and it comes with all the threads, which are just beautiful, and a needle, and it comes with the instructions, and then it comes with this awesome sheet here. So I'm pretty sure you embroider on top of this. I haven't read it yet. And it, this, this gives you the instructions as to like how to make the embroidery, which is super cool. So I'm super excited to try this out. This is perfect because, and this is what it looks like. It's this beautiful floral design, which I just love. I've been, I've really been wanting to get into some embroidery. So thank you so much. I'm really excited to try this. I am. Um, it's really adorable. I love it. I love it. So I can't wait to take a look at that. So thanks again. Uh, so she sent me that and I don't have any more stash enhancement to show you guys today. I do have some stash enhancement coming. Um, I'm really excited about because, um, I've got some Madeline Tosh vintage coming. Um, I'm designing a new design and so I'm not going to tell you guys a whole lot about this one cause it's going to be a pretty simple design. It was just this idea I had in it. It is Harry Potter related. So I'm going to be doing a huge, May will be Harry Potter month. I have declared it at least on my podcast because I will be giving away all Harry Potter things. I've got some Harry Potter fabric coming for a bag and I have some, I got Rosie and Jean who make these gorgeous earrings. 
they're making me some lightning bolt earrings for you guys. So that's gonna be fun out of clay. Um, so I'm gonna give away that and my, I hope to have my pattern out by, I'm sure it'll be out by my birthday in May. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm not gonna tell you guys a lot about it because this one is, it's, it's gonna be simple, but it's really special to me. And I feel like the idea could easily be one of those things that a lot of people take and could knit or write a pattern up for. It's not gonna be super hard. So I don't want, I mean, not that, not that my shawl is very hard, but I don't want to give it away because I feel like it is just, I just don't want it to get taken before I make it basically because yeah, people do. I mean, unfortunately people do still, and I'm sure like after it comes out, if other people write it up, whatever, whatever, but I just want to put that idea out in the universe first. And it is going to be, I know you guys know there was a lot of stuff with JK Rowling and the transgender community and things like that. So I want this pattern to be kind of representative of all people and all beings and all humans and really just put some love into the world. So I have this big idea behind it. So I don't want to give it all away, but be excited because it's going to be fun. And I'll show you guys the yarn when it comes in. So it is Harry Potter related and it's going to be a hat. That's all I got to tell you. Um, so that's coming. And the other thing that I worked on is my Ducat sweater. And I have that in my bag I made with Spoonflower fabric from, um, or Spoonflower cotton cypress canvas and Pride and Prejudice print. And so I haven't done too much. I just did, I did split for the sleeves, which is super exciting. So now I am on a just knitting in the round spree. So that is exciting. I love this. It's going to be super fun. Here's the sleeves. Nice and nice and big. So I'll get back on this again, hopefully before the next time we podcast. I've just been hightailing, knitting it on my... Um, my raincoats and recipe shawl. So this is uh, Matt, not Madeline Tosh, geez, Hedgehog Fibers Merino DK. And the colorway is rose hip. And that's pretty accurate right there. Lots of fun. I love the greens and speckles in there. And ugh, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. That's the back. I mean, it's basically the same, except the neckline. So. I hope to get that one done very soon so I can wear it and so I can cast on lots of other things to show you guys. I'm, I'm all in the sweater mood right now. I'm in the sweaters and shawl. I'm in every kind of knitting mood. I'm just loving it. So excited. Something else I'm going to cast on soon is, oh, well, yeah, we'll talk about this first. Uh, so this, this is my sock head hat that I made quite a while back. And this is in Miss Babs. I think this was a co her base Cosmic. I don't think she makes this anymore, but her Putnam base is very similar. So it's a more heavyweight fingering yarn. And so this is a nice, sturdy fingering weight hat. I really love this hat. And I love the way that it, it's not self-striping, but it did create these fun stripes. And I love purple, so this is a nice, like, just, I love this one in the winter time, especially, because it's just kind of, it's kind of, you know, dark and moody, just like me and my soul. Yeah, so I love this pattern. It's, it's just a nice, um, it's kind of like a nice change from a sock, because, you know, when you knit socks, you just knit tubes. Well, it's like, it's like, that's why they call it sock head, I think. I mean, not that I designed this or no, but... It is, it's a sock head hat. It's a lot of fun. So I wanna make it again. And I wanna make it out of this junk yarn. Yarn, and the colorway is Catherine and it's her boss sock. So this is a two ply yarn. So I knew I didn't wanna make socks out of it because I would wear holes in it instantly. But I thought that this would be really fun. Look y'all, back on my fingernail game. I have ADD on my own podcast. I can't even keep a train of thought. So hope you guys don't mind. This is her boss sock. So yeah, it's a two ply yarn. And you know, I talked about how I wear holes through my two ply socks real fast. So this is gonna be a sock head hat. And I really like it because it's just got the blips of color. So I think it's gonna be mostly pink with just some, some splotches here and there when I knit it up. So I'm really excited to cast that on as just a fun mindless project. 
the designing and all of this is super fun, but sometimes I, you know, I just need a little, I just need a little mitten break from my brain. So this is going to be that project. And, uh, I did sew up one more thing and I'll show you guys that. I made my husband some pillows. So these are his pillows that I made him also out of the accidental denim fabric, but it's, it's actually fits really well on the couch. They're nice and sturdy. You know, they don't like, um, get all soggy. Y'all got some soggy pillows. So yeah, these are drums and drumsticks because he a drummer. Uh, si another side story. We were both band nerds. We didn't go to the same high school or anything, but he was a drummer and he still drums and he's, he's very good. He'll say he isn't, but or he'll act like he ain't, but he is. And so here's the first one. And then the second one has a different back and they got the same front. So I thought that was a lot of fun. But yeah. Oh, and I played the saxophone. I was very cool in high school. Um, I was, I was a real big banner and I was like one of the, the leaders of it. So, you know, so yeah, fun stuff. He likes this. He likes these a lot. Um, I felt bad that I got him the wrong fabric, but it actually turned out really well and he loves them. But so when I ordered, um, the, I ordered some Harry Potter fabric and some more bag fabric. So, and I ordered him also some like, if you ever played Dr. Mario, it might be kind of old school, but they had like these little pills and, and the viruses. So that if somebody made a print with the pills and viruses, so I'm going to make him some Dr. Mario boxers because that's, because I'm a good wife, right? Um, these are the little things that make, make each other happy. So there you go. There's that. And another thing about the bags, thank you everyone who suggested, you know, fabrics and everything. I want to be making things that you guys like as well as me. So, um, it's good to know that you guys like a lot of the same things as me. So I'm not just picking out, you know, something y'all might think is ugly. So thanks for that. And, you know, I got, I, I got to thinking about it and I don't, think that I'm going to be selling anything right now. I'm, I think I was getting like just so excited. My kids are back in school and I was getting really ambitious. But even as I was sewing up this little, this little pink bag here, I know that, um, if I commit to the sewing, it's going to get stressful and not fun. And it's, it's not even worth, like, I, I don't want to do it really to make money. That's not how I want to make money. Um, so I'm just going to continue to sew them up and do lots of giveaways for you guys. So just stay tuned, keep watching the podcast, subscribe and give me some likes and we will continue to do all the bad giveaways. So, um, I try and when I do do it randomly, so, so far it's been a different winner every week. So that's exciting and we can get that out there for you guys. So yeah, um, don't want to get too ambitious and I want to keep this fun. So thank you for all your print suggestions. I will definitely be keeping those in mind when I go bag fabric shopping on the interwebs. So uh, I do want to announce the winner of the last giveaway. So this is the bag. Let me get it out here. So this is the cute little sheepy bag I made in blue. And this bag is going to go to Margaret. Hi, Margaret. She's been watching my podcast, I think, since the beginning. And she's super sweet. So I'm so excited to get this bag to you. So just hit me up on my Instagram. It's um, jinbughandmade. Or you can email me, jinbughandmade at gmail.com. And I will get this out to you. So you're the winner. Yay. I don't have a giveaway for this week, but I do have lots of things coming and lots of things planned for giveaways. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned and we will be doing a lot more. We got some more fabrics on the order. So thank you guys for coming back this week and talking. Oh, last but not least, this is a Debbie Bliss sweater. All the information is on my Ravelry. So go check me out there, Knit and Jen. Um, it's a mohair sweater held double and I don't even, I don't even remember the yarn y'all, but it's a little cropped pink mohair sweater and I love it. So stay tuned guys. Hopefully you will come back and see me again and we will chat some more. So thanks for watching and take care and happy knitting.